Free Lending CIC now recommends that unless you want a greater depth of database functionality for really serious free lenders, so we created a website called freelender.org, me and Edmund. Um, he's the computer guy, really, and uh, we, but we spent years creating something that was recognised as years ahead of its time in the, in the lower carbon, for the low carbon economy, um, where resources would be much more efficiently used. Anyhow, we recommend that you use streetbank.com unless you really want to see what clever things we've done like trust stats in freelender.org. But um, we're not saying that everything you want comes from Streetbank now. We're just advising that you spread your economic activity across all four economies that we know. Gift economics, where you start giving things away. The more you give away, the more you get back. That's what I find out time and time again. Free lending, where you lend to others. Time banking, where you trade time. It doesn't necessarily have to be directly with other people. It can be with a central time bank, and it's much better organised if it's organised through a central time bank, because then many hours can be given and directed towards social needs. Uh, for example, tidying up gardens to prevent people being evicted from their houses and things like that. I've done um, quite a few films on time banking, which I'll try and link in. But of course, um, we, from time to time, we will all resort to money. And I think money is really, especially when it's financially un as unstable as it is now, is the port of last resort. It's the thing that people uh, need to get. They only need it if they have not built the trust and community connections that enable most of their exchanges to be undertaken through time banking, free lending and gifts. So I'm sad to the extent to which we use money and I'm promoting Street Bank and hopefully by the end of the day Tony will have said yes to the job being offered. Closing words Tony? Well kind of in awe, um, overwhelmed but um I do see a lot of sense in what you've said. I'm just worried that there's a few legal, legal things and social things and things to do with how the government are going to actually accept what you're trying to do uh, from, a, from a kind of like, you know, declaration of your personal income point of view. But I think the actual idea and, 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 and socially, community-wise, I think it's a great idea. If, if everybody really was to embrace it, um, we would all have a, lot, a much easier time because there would be so many less things we needed money for mm -hmm. and so many more reasons for us to get off of our phones, get off of our computers and, re and go and meet with each people. other. Even if it's to borrow a DVD, yeah. you end up talking about the exactly. DVD it's together. The, it's the return to the chatting over the garden fence. Yeah, exactly. Which is so so regardless of whether you're willing to take your money, my money or not, and free lending CIC's money to help promote this, it sounds like you're on board, Tony. I'm I'm on board. I'm I'm on, I'm on board. Definitely, I'm definitely with you as far as, um, as 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 the emotional side of it, and I do think it's a really good idea. But whether I would actually be able to be on board with you as far as an employee, I'd have to I'd have to really be careful and find out what the implications of that would be. Well, I don't expect you to be anything other than careful, as I see you as the free range caretaker. Mm. So take care, Tony, and all the best.